So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and if you want to enable this check my progress bar you can check the video description now if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now once the lab starts you have to just open the console incognito window and the next step is that you have to activate the cloud shell don't worry everything will be covered in this video now just click on this button next to the gemini icon and then basically here you have to just click on continue and then authorize yourself the first step of this lab is to enable the api and then install some requirement files so just wait for it to activate so finally our cloud shell is now ready now first thing is that we'll just increase the font size because many of you are asking that we are doing with mobile phones so it is becomes difficult to see so first thing is that we'll enable the api how to enable the font size basically you have to just click on the settings and just click on the text size and it will be giving options now first wait for the api to enable so sometimes what happens you get this kind of error okay if you get this kind of error do not worry about it just try to rerun the enable api command again okay just try to rerun the api enable command again and if you try after basically try uh, at least four to five times and getting same error then just restart the lab just restart the lab if you get multiple times the error now here we'll run the command again and here you can see the api is enabled now we have to just run this again we have to come back again to the lab instructions and just check the score for task number one now task number two we have to create the processor how we'll create the processor we have to navigate to the document ai so how to navigate you will be using the search box present in the console so let me show you how you have to do so you can type or just copy the name just type it over here and just select the first one and wait for it to get opened now here you have to just click on the explore processor wait for this page to fully load and remove the unwanted pop-up if you want now here the first thing is that we have to just click on the explore processor and then we have to just come to the specialized section so just wait for it to get opened here you can see multiple processors and types of parsers we can create so here you can see they are mentioning that we have to create a custom okay sorry custom extractor we have to create so just give the name over here and just click on create okay you have to create a custom extractor sorry for the slip now here if you try to create it will take some time to get created so just wait for it to get created so here basically you can see we have to create these many new fields and then you can see all these tasks are available on this lab so this is little bit tricky lab but if you follow the video carefully and complete along with me then you'll get the full score without any issue and here you can see all these things we have to complete in this lab i am showing you so that you can understand what we have to complete now just come over here and we here here basically we have to create new fields okay and then we have to import the documents and then we have to just label it also so it will be auto labeled if you follow the way i have done okay now let's come to the task 3 wait for the data set to get completed basically it will take some time data set is created we have to click on get started and then click on create new fields so for that the fields name is here you can see on the left side and then the data type is here and the occurrence is here we have to select like this i will show you how you have to do here you can see these all things the data set is created already now here you have to just come to the get started as i said earlier i am doing this because many of you may make some kind of mistake so just follow it over here the data set is now visible the storage is also updated now we have to just create the schema so just come over here on create new field 
now for the name come back here copy carefully make sure there is no any extra space update the data type and the occurrence okay the occurrence is mentioned on the lab instruction here it's optional multiple so just create it similarly just do it for the second one also carefully copy the name paste over here update the data type and then occurrence now just save it and again repeat the same steps for all these tasks i am doing it you just follow as i am doing So finally all the fields have been updated you can check and cross verify from the lab instructions and then we'll move forward to the next step cross verify all things and also check the score if you are unable to see the score just try to check the score after some time and if you are unable to get the score even after waiting for 5 minutes then just make sure to verify that you have entered correct details or not and just retry to just repeat these steps okay now here we have to just import the documents from our cloud storage so here you can see there is an option import cloud storage okay just come over here i am saying saying how you can delete basically you have to just click on three dots and delete it if you want to delete now let's upload the file basically select import from cloud storage wait for this to get green and then just click on import so just wait here you can see now just import it so if you have followed the way the document will be auto labeled now you have to just click on import sometimes what happens the import button does not work in that case you have to just cancel it and just repeat the import upload document steps again okay now it's analyzing the document it will take some time so wait for it so now here you can see the document is not labeled yet but once the document is fully updated you can see all these things are labeled now you have to just click on mark it as labeled and if you are unable to see this option just zoom out your browser now all these things are done you can see here all these things are available over here now just go to build option and here here basically we have to build one version so here you can see the train custom model version is not visible over here so we have to just create a demo version using the call foundational model so just click on create now the version name how will find the version name here they have mentioned the lab instructions only come over here here you can see it's w2 dash foundational model copy the name over here and just click on create just click on create and here the base versions are multiple so here they have not mentioned anything regarding the base version so just click on create and wait for some time and if you are getting this kind of error okay now if you are getting this kind of error then what you need to do you can just update any other version okay let me try again if it is due to any api issues i will check it so here if i try to check you can see there is no score updation so here we need to just do one more time so just change the version to any other version or you can just repeat the steps again paste the name create it again you can see we are getting the source error in such case just select the first model or last model anything now here it is created once it is created 
we have to just wait for some time and then you can see here if you try to check the score it will get the score without any issue and if you're not getting the score early then you need to wait for some time now here we have to just come over here in the build section only now here we have to just train a custom model now here you can see it's not showing create a new version in that case what you need to do let me show you what you have to do come over here to get started just click on get started and then go to build and then go to import documents and just update it okay just select cloud storage only and the data split here it will be auto split so just select the auto split sorry auto split all these things are correct now one more important thing we have to take care that whether we have to enable the auto labeling or not so you have to just check it and for the version just copy the version from here okay carefully select the version and then click on import now it will take some time so wait for it So here you can finally see all the documents are successfully uploaded uploaded so now we have to just create a new version for our training so how we'll do it let me show you again how we have to complete it so first thing is that we have to just click on the start labeling do not worry about it just click on marked as labeled again click on marked as labeled for one more time so this thing is updated now click on this black icon back icon sorry and then we have to just create a new data set for that you can see just copy it click on import data paste over here and this time the data split has auto split so you have to just click on auto split you can see on the top it is selected okay now auto labeling is not mentioned over here i think so so here what you need to do just click on import now wait for this document to get imported it will take some time So finally all the 74 documents have been successfully uploaded now the next step lies very easy so you have to just build it so let me show you how you have to build come over here and just in the not the fine tuning just below it okay train the model we have to create a version so how you'll find it first remove this unwanted pop-up okay come down click on new version for the version name it's mentioned on the lab instruction Now here many of you may make this kind of mistake like you paste incorrect name. So for that you have to just come back here copy the name carefully and just paste over here and the training method is model based and then you have to just click on start training. Now this will again take some time 
and once it's done we'll get the score for the last task and if you're completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe to the channel guys and if you want to complete pre-assessment skill badges laugh free courses skill badges arcade games check the playlist check the description for the monster sheet all things are available over here now here it's training if you are able to get the score earlier then you can end the lap if you are not getting just wait for a few more minutes and retry again Now let's come to the lab instruction and let's try to check the score for this particular task and see whether we are getting any score or not. And if you like the way I've solved this lab, do like the video and subscribe to the channel guys. If you have any queries, let me know in the comment section. So thank you guys. Have a great day.